Hey friends, can't wait to introduce to you this new approach to introducing the Rider Waite Smith deck. Alright, this is where it gets a little crazy. So imagine, 1909, we're witnessing the creation of the Rider Waite Smith tarot in a room filled with classical music, easels, and the enchanting pixie Pamela Coleman Smith herself. All right, and then consider A. E. Lee off to like the left in just his socks and Pixie asking him, shall we begin? The beauty of working with Pamela Coleman Smith is every single card shows her artistic vision in the area she lived herself. She integrated it all into the deck at the time in 1909. Take for instance, the Ten of Cups. It's a jubilant celebration, a moment where life's journey crescendos in harmonious joy, and it's painted in vibrant colors of life. And take note that the tarot unfolds as our guiding map, directing us on a journey of the heart and our own stories. The vibrant tapestry of life continues to weave its enchanting tale. So yeah, 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 we've all seen the Rider Waite Smith deck. That's old news. Why should we use it? Because it's deep and never ending with artistic vision and Kabbalistic knowledge from A.E. Waite. Blessed be, thanks for joining us. Like, subscribe, and get your tarot insights anywhere you can put at Alwyn Ovate. I'm Erin with Alwyn Ovate. Remember, the fun is all in the cards.